My name's Kevin Newsham and I work for the British Antarctic Survey uh, on Svalbard in the High Arctic. I'm a microbiologist, so I study the, uh, the microbes that live within these soils um, and I'm interested in the effects of climate warming on these uh, organisms. The experiment here is designed to test the effects of warming on microbes in the soil. These are called uh, open top chambers, so they're basically uh, miniature uh, greenhouses. And what they do is just to warm the soil passively, you actually feel that the difference on a nice sunny day like this. And they warm it by about a degree or two uh, as an average over the year. And so what we're doing is that we compare the response of the soil inside the chamber and outside and that gives us a projection for what might happen to the soils here over say the next four, five, maybe six decades. Uh, it's vitally important to understand the uh, warming in the Arctic because uh, it's one of the most rapidly warming regions on Earth. It's warming by about 0.6 degrees C per decade here on Svalbard. Um, that's several times faster than anywhere else on Earth. And it's very likely, even that small level of warming over the next few decades, maybe a degree or two, that it's going to affect the, uh, the plants that live here and the microbes that live within the soil. I think we should care about what happens in the Arctic because as a whole over the region there's about twice as much carbon in these soils as there is in the Earth's atmosphere so if all that carbon is the permafrost that's in the Arctic, that's permanently frozen soil, as that melts all that carbon will become available for microbes and what will happen is that they'll respire it away to the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. So if, if only a small amount of that carbon gets respired away, then that's going to significantly affect the Earth's climate.